It's great. So let's, I, uh, let's I love grinding matches. It. I am a fan of grinding matches. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still setting up for KK Slider. He's still not quite ready to show up here. He's doing sound check. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go into the match, though. And um, fair, grab, bouncing fish. Nothing yeah. crazy. Now, something I was told and something I've noticed from Psyche at more like weeklies mm -hmm. is that he's noticed that a lot of the top players he's played has taken advantage of the fact that not that he doesn't have an aggressive game, but it is it is definitely not as good as his defensive game. Oh yeah. And the thing is when we say defensive game, we're not talking needle game. We're not talking pure needle campaign. No, no, no. Because honestly, if you count the amount of needles he's throwing this game, it's pretty low. Yeah. Um, rather Psyche's general stay offish approach to the match, right? Yeah. He runs away, he stays just out of Shane's range, and he just waits for Shane to push a button and punch. Yeah, a very over bait and, over. and punish heavy player. Mm -hmm. Which and works good in Smash 4, yeah. works great with Sheik too, but makes the game take a bit yeah, longer. At some point, you gotta get the kill. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there is a great example of, uh, of my issue with this playstyle. Uh, F tilt to Nair. Nair was the safest option because it covered air launch and, his relative, and you can potentially get a head out of it for some damage. Versus going for, if you know they're going to air dodge it anyway, you might as well go for something stronger. Hell, he might have been able to get something dumb, something like an upbeat, maybe a baited up air. Just anything to keep the pressure going instead of letting Villager get out of it. Yeah, because Villager's strength in this matchup is that he's not hes not a heavy, but he will live so long against Oh yeah, Sheik. he's going to live forever and he's going to kill you at early. And Slingshot and Bowling Ball. And Stick. And Stick. <laughs> and basically everything will just... Completely destroy Sheik. So I want to see from Psyche a little Ooh, more of that. that. A that little was, more that, of just kind of nice. go for reads, dude. Fuck it. I mean, honestly. I'm sorry for my words, but <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you need to get a little bit more aggressive against characters like this because it's going to wait you out. you just put the fear into your opponent that, you know, I'm a smart player, but sometimes I'm just going to do something stupid. Yep. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to falcon kick out of the corner. You don't know what I'm going to do. I don't works. know what I'm going to do. And it works. Of course, that being said, there's something to play for that perfect play style where you never have to do anything unsafe and you're yeah. always just on the ball. No one's yeah. perfect. Psyche is pretty damn close when you play <laughs> some of these matchups, but no one's perfect. And Shane takes advantage of that. He's yeah. like, you're going to mess up eventually. I know it. I'm going to get yeah. the hit and I need to kill. Um, and I want to see Psyche do a lot more of that too. Yeah. Triple turnip is going to be yeah. the end of that stock. And something I forgot to mention um, about the down smash at ledge is that Le um, rolls from ledge are based off, I believe, um, chat, feel free to like roast me and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the roll from ledge is based on your character height. So, Falcon, very long roll from ledge, but Villager, very small character. Little Max roll from ledge is worse than Falcon's. Though what you're saying might be very much so true with the majority yeah. of the cast. I think there's some outliers. I yeah, think there's there some, But bottom line, Villager's ledge roll is god-awful. Like, it, it is terrible. Like, to the point where Falcon can cover all three options with Jab. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's actually dumb. The but, worst, I think, is it the worst ledge roll Samus, or is that just the worst regular roll? Well, it's like, I, I think that's, that's like the worst roll, like, frame data-wise, but like, in terms of like, space covered, the Villager is definitely up there, it's really bad. Oh man, I like the dash like So Psyche in a kind of scary spot here. Um, yeah, Psyche is definitely in death percent. Well in death percent. Well, the Villager Shane, is fine. Shane, Shane's got Shane's got some room to play. Yeah, he's got a good like 30, 40 more percent before he's really afraid well, of aerial kills. I'd honestly say if he plays this right, he's got a good 60 percent. Oh no, without doubt. Yeah. But before like the threat is even there, he has another from now another 10 percent, another 10 percent, and Shane can lose. Yeah. And just like that, I think Shane is now at kill percent for things like up air. Um, ooh, I like that yeah. fair from ledge there. Clever recovery from Shane, but. So this is Psyche. this is where we get to the, the oh, meat of the matchup, right? Oh, is that going to... Yeah. yeah, of course. Back will. air. If we get to the meat of the matchup, right? You got Shane throwing out hitboxes like forward air, back air, uh, yeah. Lloyds. And eventually they'll hit. He, he's, not, he's not hoping to hit everything, right? He's not a marksman. No. He's using a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to hit. you got a big enough stay. spread, one of it's going to hit. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the way to play it. That is the way to do it, man. And, and even Psyche's if you miss, just, uh, you control that space. Now. Yep. One. Oh, and KK Slider, KK Slider is, in is in the house. house. He's uh, He was waiting. He wanted to wait for the hype sets to come yeah, out, right? <laughs> the hype set. Ooh. <laughs> My boy KK. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Which, because Villager lives so long, the defensive style of Sheik 
which not really reliant on needles, but Psyche, Psyche's use of needles is like amazing. Oh I yeah, love his especially use of in needles. this matchup, it's really hard to use needles effectively against Villager because Lloyd yeah. eats them. But the the kind of the double edged sword with needles is that you're giving Villager more rage. Oh yeah, and, and that that's the matchup as a whole though. You're not yeah. avoiding that. You're not killing him. You're not gimping this guy. Yeah. Although, listen, it can be done. It, it, the best one it has been done. Can we talk about that uh, bouncing fish into the F smash and how if he was like a frame later he was dead? That was ballsy. <laughs> yeah. That Pun included. <laughs> Jeez, dude, that was raw. Um, that being said, no, I, I entirely agree with you. And something that probably should be noted with Village's recovery, one really well spaced back air can pop both balloons at the same time without hitting Villager. Yeah. Just saying. It's a cool option. Also gets rid of the lingering hitbox so you can't hit Villager. <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, oh, I think what he was trying to do was like a B-reversed axe, and he, and he just got neutral B. I can see that. So, ah, this is a scary spot to be, man. I yeah. hate that tree. You gotta save me. Uh, fun fact for that tree, though, especially with Sheik since she's on the field, uh, it triggers a lot of on-hit things. Yeah. Sheik side B, a move that Psyche, I don't think has touched in his life. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any respectable Sheik man has, uh, will blow up on impact of the tree growing. Mm. Which means you can bait the villager to grow the tree and hit him with an explosion that can kill 20% or so from now. Now, Bouncing Fish Lloyd is really weird interaction. It is. That I do not understand. I, I used to main villager and I've played this matchup. And sometimes Bouncing Fish just beats Lloyd. Other times sometimes, it just loses. Sometimes you get hit out of the Bouncing Fish. Other times you just kind go of through the, bounce, the, the Lloyd. You, you just kind of bounce off and nothing happens. Seen a lot of things. The Lloyd has health. There's a yeah. period of time where it's just straight doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's that. So Psyche wants to get an up air here. He wants to get an F tilt to up air, something to an up air. Uh, and if he doesn't get it before like 150, then he's just gonna settle for back air fair getting a kill. Yeah. Uh, Ledge and Trump Bear will kill around like 160 on Villager. So it's it seems like his game plan so far is to play a really horizontal game against Shane, which against Villager I would not recommend. Like, well, the yes, thing is, I yes think you have needles and you have like long horizontal chains, but I think it's more of a comfort thing. He's played this guy so yeah. often that's how he gets his wins. Um, Shane isn't letting him get up air setups, and that's big because up air is such a good kill confirm for Sheik. Yeah. But if you're not able to get it, you're not closing out the stock. Simply put, you're, you're just not going to close out that yeah. stock until, like, Ooh. God, that was scary. <laughs> I think he might have actually died. <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I don't know. I, I want to say he wouldn't. I want to I wanna believe that he wouldn't die from that, but I can't be sure. Yeah, because the problem with letting Villager live so long is that Ooh, you will nice. just take so much chip damage. Oh, yeah. And, and it, adds he, up, it adds up so fast. I, I do like that Rising Fair over the forward air to get his own. <laughs> Definitely well played. Uh, and then we're going to see this percent become equal in a heartbeat. Yeah, uh, but and then we're going to get to the point where Village yes, is going to yes, be behind. Yes, the percent's equal, but... But that does not mean it's an even game. Th that does not mean anything. The way people usually look at it, if you're equal with Sheik, the Sheik is losing. Yeah. Uh, and in a matchup where he's just getting a ton of chip damage, it's borderline unavoidable to some degree. Um, you, you're forced to eat it. You just have to pick and choose what attacks you take and what attacks you uh, just back off from. And, I mean, they're both pretty smart about that. Uh, Shane's pretty good at baiting things out, and Psyche's pretty good at not throwing out an attack to trade with uh, really heavy hitting moves. Yeah. Like Bowling Ball, for example. Bowling Ball's really good, and we've seen that come out a lot, but not hit yet. Yeah. Example, Shane versus DK Ollie. Mm. When Donkey Kong dies at like 50%. Yeah, that's a bit <laughs> depressing. That ledge trump bear is not going to kill though. We're going to want to wait till like 140, 150 before that'll even... Uh, yeah. The, the kill idea will even be a twinkle in his eye, right? Yeah. Because you, you're not killing him early. You're not killing him early. Um, weird, weird interactions with that. And Shane, playing sneaky, went straight for an up smash. Um, you know when you watch something happen on stream, like, I would have fallen for that? Yeah. That was one of those moments. It was like, I would have fast fell right into that smash attack. Uh, Plan to the tree, maybe hoping that Psyche would do something panic action-wise. But Psyche's not going to, so he's not going to get the up right, yeah. And the fair is going to kill on that platform. Uh, Psyche taking game two, yeah. making it 1-1. One, one. It is now a best of three set. Yeah, I can't help but think that there is a little bit of suspect DI on that forward air. Oh yeah, definitely. And that usually happens. Forward air you have so little time to react to. Yeah. You don't react, you just know what's coming. Oh. And we're going to see the cloud. This is amazing. I'm so happy. 
<laughs> because now it's a matchup where like <laughs> things happen. <laughs> Either Cloud gets gimped at zero or Sheik dies at zero. Either way, I'm much more excited now. Uh, Psyche approaching. Shane with, charging with, 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 with needles. <laughs> So, I don't like that side B from Shane in neutral there. Um, I don't know what he's hoping to get out of it, but... That was a <laughs> nice long yawn there from you. Uh, is that where the lethargic comes in from the name Lethargic Pro, bro? Yeah, man, I'm just like, it, it's been a long day. It's been like, a hella long day. I've been here up with you for a while, too. Yeah, I, I get you. Oh, man. Um, burning that limit already, and that was the first damage Psyche like, took. Also, that up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a good idea. I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks to Psyche versus Rensley here. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> um, I, 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 oh, I, I love I, that I don't, don't want to put Rensley on blast because... He's Rensley, still a better player than either one of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's much better than me, but he's just, like, such a, such a cool guy. And yes. I don't want to put him on blast, but, like... Got a match. Yeah. Let's see what happens here, though. Uh, Psyche isn't letting him play. And yeah, that's no. good. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see. Uh, you don't want to see him let him play. Yeah, definitely. Just the oppressive nature of Sheik is definitely coming. This out. is uh, definitely the the fastest and probably easiest way for Psyche to really turn to Shane and say, "Go back to Villager." Yeah, <laughs> because the uh, the really recent like AZ meme where it's like you see a match like this and you're like, wow, I love it when both characters are a kill percent. And you say it ironically, but at some point, it's true. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> although Psyche had some really good ledge guarding, it was very safe ledge guarding. It wasn't, he wasn't going for a kill. Oh, is that, And okay. because, oh, I, that didn't kill. That would have broken surprised. my heart. That <laughs> oh, don't worry. Now he's getting edge guarded. <laughs> yeah. Both of these characters are so good at keeping the other on ledge. And, um... We have one of those Arizona meme time. <laughs> we have one of those matches where it's so exciting, man. They're both at kill percent. Oh, uh, they've, both, been, they've both long since been kill percent. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Oh, and forward tilt. Ooh, and that will take it. Psyche probably breathing a sigh of relief I, saying, oh, thank God I don't I, die at 40 want, anymore. I want Psyche to uh, I want Psyche to be a little more risky against Todd. It sounds weird. I know. Yeah. Risky? What? But no. I, Dude. You make him recover, make him recover, and then just up air. Like, you can land up air. It's it's not the least safe move in the game. He, he saves up air for kills. I get it, and that that's a good idea. But he doesn't use it for kills. So like, yeah. he needs to use more up air. I feel like this, but maybe who knows? I mean, like, he's I, he's up there. I'm not. So he's I mean, getting I mean. his combos. He's getting his B and Bs. But like when it comes to getting the kill, we've seen Shane live to basically 200 percent every stop. Oh, definitely. And I'm definitely not one to talk. I, I struggle to get kills very often with this character, but. Um, I definitely want to see some... You can get a lot of good mix-ups on Cloud. Cloud is an amazing weight to combo do things to. Yeah, especially with Lemon. And I feel like Psyche just isn't going for kills. He's not yeah. playing for kills here. It's and there's nothing. Yeah. There we go. The DI... Not he didn't DI that at all. No. He di it in. Just bad di I was going to say DI mix-up, but that was just bad DI. Yeah, he DI'd straight in and got caught by the up air. Yeah. And that's what I like to see from, uh, that's what I like to see from Psyche. I want to see more yeah. up airs like that. I want to see him... Make his opponent afraid of dying. Yeah, because Shane, Shane doesn't have a bad air dodge habit, but you can you can get in there. You can get some uh, punishes. What is what is he gonna do? I That's the question. Hope he uh, okay. Kind of want to see Ness, but Ness wouldn't have done any better. It would have done straight worse. But I wanted to see it anyway. Yeah. I like the character. Shane. So Shane I mean, has, has to fight characters. back two stop. Two stop. He has to get two games. Yeah. Um, and that's easier said than done now. Oh yeah. Just. I can only imagine just like the mental fatigue About that, to say that, it. that playing a best of five with Psyche in this matchup must be. For, you know, honestly, not just for Shane. I want to say the exact same thing for Psyche. Oh, no, definitely. Like, Shane, this Shane is an amazing player incredibly in his own stressful on both it ends. It's super stressful on both ends, right? Yeah. You have Psyche who's at like 60 or something. Like, if I get hit by the wrong move, I lose. I and Shane's like, yeah. I got to hit him with the right move or I lose. <laughs> it's yeah. super stressful on both ends. Oh, that Sage Spike. Let's see what he does, though. He's just going to let him on Sage. And that's the thing. Yeah. I understand it, though. You're not going to get a consistent Gimp on Villager, but you can try. Yeah. You need you need to instill the fear. And Shane's recovery has been, so far, like, immaculate. Oh, yeah. But... But there's Psyche, a lot of times where Psyche just yeah. waits. Yeah. Just just like, something can always be done. Whether that something is nothing or not, but... 
Sh I feel Shane's like Shane's been getting back for free. I definitely feel like there's more he can do. And I mean, if Shane's gonna opt to recover the way he has been, so needles to bouncy fish is a true combo, something yeah. that's very known. Um, you can totally get. Ooh, oh, that's what I like to see. Eight. So he's not allowed to just throw out moves on me. I can yeah. kill you, you know. It doesn't yeah. look like it sometimes, but I can do it. Yeah, and that is a really good sign for like to know that a sheik is doing well and feeling comfortable is that they get their kills at good percents. A good percent being below 142 against Villager. I think that's a good. That's percent. a great percent. That's below 200. You I will like take to that to that. the bit. Yeah, <laughs> below 200. <laughs> Last game we hit 190 something. I'm just yeah. saying, like. I'll take it. That's good. That's relatively early. Yeah. What I'd like to see is, um... So I was saying Neil's about this, right? Something that we're not going to see very often in this matchup. The balloons will stall it. Uh, a lot yeah. of things just go wrong with it. Um, there's some really cool reverse needle stuff you can do. On villagers especially. To get a double balloon pop or to pop the balloons and maybe even try to stage spike them. Or get a needles to bouncing fish towards the stage to stage spike him with the bouncing fish. Really cool stuff, pretty neat. Something I'm guessing Psyche either doesn't feel comf uh, comfortable doing or just never really thought to do it. That's not really in his idea, like in something you think yeah. of doing. But, like, but it, it's relatively safe. And yeah. What I'm saying is I want to see Psyche pressure him off stage. Yeah. At all. Villager players usually feel confident off stage where they're like, my recovery is so good, I can't be gimped. But that is not true. Villager and can definitely be gimped. More importantly, he can't hit you out of it. Once he started his up, he's Yeah, he's he vulnerable. is completely vulnerable. There's no hitboxes. Like, in damn. most cases, the village, the uh, the balloons will extend the hitbox. That being said, Psyche's playing this very well. Oh, um, no, he's playing this very well. The, the man is honestly game. at kill percent. Villager is at kill percent right now. If he lands the right moves. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And we're back to neutral. Villager is no longer at kill percent. Um, even if he lands the right moves. I want to, if he got like an up B, something like that, yeah. he'd get a kill. Uh, a down smash, any smash attack would kill at like 130-ish without rage. 140, uh, maybe. But with rage, it's going to kill at like 120, 130, so. Yeah. Like, what we've seen for, from Psyche, which we've come in on a lot, is that, yes, he's playing super defensive, but he's like starting it. to integrate these like kind of like odd mix up. There we go. Yeah. That's what exactly what you need. Yeah. Because he's not reacting to it at that point. And if Shane's gonna constantly throw out moves,